now the next thing is let's close the splash screen also the global one let's close the login and come here to the main screen so as you know that we are currently on the home screen so let's just quickly add a app bar here and a logout button so that we can implement the login as well so scaffold app bar app bar title will be in the text widget okay we will add of course but for now let's just leave it empty center title true and then the back button we do not want it so we can say automatically play leading and we can make it false one thing more is you can see this d back uh, badge let's remove it also so on the main dot dot if you come here all we need is just here we can simply say debug show check mode banner and set it to false just like this and come here to the page which is our auth screen dot dot here we have an app bar okay where we basically add our uh, gradient color okay two colors cyan and ember to our app bar okay so we have to simply copy this all flexible space okay this one you can also mi minimize it and copy it easily like this so anyways copy it come back here to the home screen and now inside the app bar we can simply paste it okay just like this so yeah this is the color for our app bar if I show you then it looks like this and then also here on the main dot dot we have to make sure that our shared references is initialized so we can simply say that shared references equal with shared references dot get instance okay now one thing is that is if you remember uh, we have basically saved the data locally when we were re allowing the seller to register now the reason for that is because I told you I mean more than two times that is uh, most of the time whenever we have our most important data that basically we require to use many time in the app so basically we save it to the local storage in order to access it easily instead of writing queries to the file store okay to the firebase file store then retrieve it and display it it will basically it is time taken okay and also internet connection is uh, involved there so the most important data basically we save locally in order to access it, access it easily okay so now I will tell you how we can access this data directly okay so this is so simple all you need is just come here to the home screen and if you remember we have saved the following data okay we will now access the name on the app bar from here okay so in order to do that what we need to do we need to simply write here that shared references dot get string okay and the string has a key that is which data we want to retrieve okay which we saved earlier if you want to retrieve email you have to simply type key email if you want to retrieve photo URL you have to simply type photo URL if you want to retrieve name we have to simply retrieve it by the same key name which is name okay so I will simply write here name make sure to put a comma here at the end and before the comma make sure to add the null check here okay as well as after the shared preferences and do not hot restart okay make sure to click on this play button in order to load the app fully from the splash screen here we can see now 
Burger King okay so yeah, it is working fine now the next thing is uh, for now we will just add a simple logout button here on the page but of course uh, here we will display the menus for the Burger King which the Burger King will upload later on in the course you will see it of course but for now let's just add a logout button so that we can implement the login with firebase authentication in the next video okay so let's just add quickly after the app bar we can say body and then you can say center widget child elevated button child text and the text will be so log out and then of course on the on breast what we want to do also if you want you can set the color for it but anyways we will anyways we will remove this button later on okay from here okay we will add the logout button in the drawer when we add the drawer here to the seller app then the logout button will be there for, for now we are just implementing the login in the next video that's why we are just implementing it so you can say primary and the colors dot amber okay or you can add the cyan color whatever color you want so anyways now here so you can say firebase auth dot current firebase or dot sign out okay this one so it will make the current user null that is allow the seller to log out successfully and then of course after that we want to send the seller to the authentication screen that is the login and sign up screen so for that we can simply say navigator dot push context the root will be material page root and then we can say builder c and then our page name which is the auth screen okay just like this make sure to put a semicolon at the end const auth screen so now click on this play button okay to restart the app from the splash screen okay we are on the home screen because we are already logged in now if we click on the logout now this burger king is another seller okay as i told you you can add many seller you want now you will be thinking that is in the previous video i have signed up with the seller which is uh, pizza hut okay but yes i just uh, sign up with um, one more seller okay you can sign up with uh, many seller you want let me just show it to you okay i have signed up with another seller whose name is uh, burger king here you can see burger king and so on the information and then we have also the pizza hut so anyways you can i mean add many seller you want okay i mean many sellers can register in this app as you know that this is a multi seller application just like food panda swaggy or zomato or you can say uber eats clone okay so all the features are like that okay multi sellers many sellers whoever want to become a seller and open their online food shop or any restaurant online restaurant or online cafe they can register as a seller here so anyways uh, i hope you understand this and now uh, let's just click on logout in order to check the app we are logged out from the app okay now if i click on the play button it will not send me to the home screen because i am now logged out i mean the seller whose name is burger king he is logged out okay also we need to add this inside the dot then that is when this is executed successfully then we want to send the user i mean the seller to the uh, auth screen otherwise we have to wait so we can simply say dot then and here we can say in here okay just cut this from here simply paste it here and 
add here const modifier I mean the const keyword sorry so let's just click on this play button and now let's test the app I mean we are going to register a new seller okay and as you know with the registration the seller will be allowed to sign in so that we can check at least that is if everything goes well or not so I'm going to log in using this one okay let's this time we will give it name as uh, Italian pizza or you can I mean register as a cold drink shop or any shop you want okay we are just testing now so Italian at the rate gmail.com phone number of course and then the cafe restaurant location click on sign up registering account please wait and here you can see Italian pizza alongside with the logout so if you click logout it will send you back to the login screen now if you hold restart or I mean or completely restart the app it will not send you to the home screen because you are logged out from the app okay Italian, P Italian pizza just logged out from the app